Two red hot and divisive issues, illegal immigration and the president's health care reform law. Well, they're headed for the Supreme Court and they are sure to ricochet through the 2012 presidential race. Both rulings likely to be announced in June, just five months before Election Day. So to help us assess the political fallout from both of these, let's go to Fox News contributors, Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio talk show host, and Lars Larson, also a syndicated radio host. Hello to both of you. Good Hi, morning. good morning. So, you know, we talk so much about the flagging economy that we sort of have kept our, taken our eye off the Supreme Court, but these are major decisions that will certainly affect the presidential candidates and President Obama. Let's start with Arizona's uh, illegal immigration law. If the Supreme Court sides with Arizona and what they did to stop uh, or curtail illegal immigration in their state, Will that help the GOP candidate, Leslie? You know, immediate reaction, easier reaction is to say yes. But unfortunately, I have to say, I just don't think the voters are as concerned, even with these issues and the Supreme Court decisions, because the economy is such a huge issue. And I think the majority of voters have already made up their mind as to whether they're going to vote for President Barack Obama in his bid for re-election or whoever comes up uh, once they see on that platform about a month away. I think it could impact undecided voters, but more so, I just think it really goes to show the Supreme Court's decision on where the power lies truly and specifically on a federal level versus a state level, but, but, more so than uh, affecting Alice, an election. Lars, yeah, I see you shaking your head. What do you think? Allison, let me help connect the dots for my liberal friend, Leslie. Illegal oh, aliens, dude, or as Lars. we call them, undocumented, undocumented Democrats, are stealing the jobs of American <laughs> citizens. With 15 million people out of work, only a million of those 12 million illegals in the country work farm jobs. The rest of them work jobs that Americans are willing to do right now, telling Arizona that they did right by merely saying they wanted to enforce the federal laws on the books is going to be a win for conservatives because conservatives have argued mm -hmm. for a long time no. that these illegals should not be in our country taking American Job. But, but, but yet, what about the Hispanic vote, Leslie? Surely it will have some effect on whether they turn out to the polls? Well, that, that's what I was going to say. For those that, are, that, that I was going to say before Lars wanted to connect the dots for we Democrats, uh, <laughs> ba basically, for those that are undecided or, you know, or those people that don't want to get out and vote, I think on both health care and immigration, it, it can actually anger people, uh, regardless of which way the Supreme Court rules. Oh, and quite frankly, although, Lars, I know you're a little confused, Jan Brewer is not running for president, and Newt Gingrich does want amnesty and a pathway to citizenship, and it looks like he may be no, your guy. So when it, when it comes to those, and I think it's a great question, Allison, because that's where it really impacts for those that might not have turned out, uh, that Allison. may go, okay, oh. I, I, need, I need to show up to make a difference because mm -hmm. I'm angry about this decision. Yeah, Lars. Allison, let me tell you something. Latinos in America who are legally here or are citizens, and there are many of them, ought to be angered at the, at the insulting suggestion that if you side against those breaking our laws in our country illegally, that somehow that's an insult to people who happen to be ethnically similar to them. There is no similarity. It's like saying I ought to be against anybody who's for hunting down serial killers because most serial killers are white guys my age. The fact is, is that smart <clears throat> Latino voters will see through this this. Uh, charade okay. that Leslie wants to press. Uh, uh, let's move on to health care reform because yeah, I have okay. heard it said some pundits believe that either way the Supreme Court decides if they side with President Obama and they allow the health care reform law to continue as is or if they start dismantling it somehow either way it sort of helps the president rally his base. Leslie what do you think? I agree 100%. Uh, back to the anger issue, if the Supreme Court deems this unconstitutional, I think those Democrats who plan to stay home or some Democrats who are a little upset with hope and change might say, you know what, I'm going to give this guy a second chance and I'm going to show up to vote. And uh, obviously, if the Supreme, Cup, or Supreme Court upholds it, it, it just makes it look like, see, you know, what a waste of time and taxpayer money. And of course, Republicans are going to run with it either way. So run with it, Lars. What do you think, Lars? I'll Is that tell you how you what, see I, it? I will, 
I will run with it. Allison, the thing is, Leslie doesn't understand. The majority of Americans oppose this law because they understand the government has no right to tell you you have to buy a certain kind of insurance product. And the very yeah. fact that if you, if you uphold that at the Supreme Court, you're suggesting that the government basically has the right to run your life. That's all the, all the more a positive point for conservatives who want to take their lives back from the control of an overbearing government. All right, Lars Larson, That's Leslie <laughs> Marshall, we're going to leave it there. It's going to be an exciting year. Uh, seeing Merry what Christmas, happens Leslie. With the Supreme Court. Thanks, Allison. Thanks. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to both of you. Thanks so much. All right, we're